there is a certain percentage of people who look like me who have also been told you can't because of your color or you live in the city and this is not for you. Think about the story that mountaineering has been. It's been mainly white male. And if a little black girl were to look into mountaineering and hear that single story, she would probably say, I don't have much of a place there. Big problem of why a lot of people, I guess, my age, aren't doing things like this is because it doesn't seem cool enough. And I think if I do it, hopefully that'll inspire other people to do it as well. There's never been a group of black climbers coming together in an expedition to get to the summit of Denali, and that's a big deal. It's really interesting because I don't get uh, nervous much for many things, um, but I'm nervous. And it was rough, man, just tackling the head wall with really, really heavy packs. It's almost like the mountain dares you to make a mistake. Last two days, I really, 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 really have been in deep thought on whether, whether I should continue on. I'm just totally destroyed right now. This shit is gonna be hard, and you know it. So as soon as you get that in your head, then you're gonna be all right, you know? Just don't bullshit yourself. Pretty clear that from here on, it's the real deal. We're so exposed, just gotta be ready for anything. I think we're evaluating the weather as a Conditions are not optimal. I've seen one fall on the slope already. When I get so tired that I can't see straight, all I just start thinking about is five steps, stop. Five steps, stop. And eventually, those five and five and five add up and you're there. <laughs>